challenge other people. Yeah. 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 Well, do you think that women's history will de facto have to always be done by women? Uh, I, okay, I don't think it has to be. I think men can. You know, that's been an issue in women's history, mm -hmm. apart from psychology. Uh, just as black psychology. Uh, do you have to be black? Uh, do you have to be black to teach black history? Uh, and the same question was raised occasionally of my students, of me, you know. Um, how can I teach adolescents when I, my kids aren't adolescents yet? I said, well, I can teach abnormal and I'm not crazy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, uh, now I think men can. Uh, but the thing is, most men, I think, aren't interested. I mean, they've got their own thing. It, it's women, I think, who tend to be interested enough to, to dig into this. Now, can the men understand the women's position? Well, it's think about literature. The male authors who've written in a woman's voice. Some of them have done a darn good job, you know. <laughs> Just as you have women authors who write with a, with a male protagonist. Some of them do a good job at it, some of them don't. Uh, so, I, yeah, men can do women's history, but I think it's women who are going to have to probably lead the way there. Um, in Psychology of Women, uh, Division 35, only one man has really stuck with it, but he's hung in there, you know? <laughs> and, and I don't know what motivates yeah, him or why, yeah. but she's fine, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's sure others could, but I think they're most likely to feel very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you think that keeps men from doing it who might otherwise be interested? I expect so.